Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another vlog. Well, <laughs> it's another vlog day. So we are going to talk about how to get tin ID card. So if you guys are wondering, ano yung tin ID card? Ito yun, no? ito yun. <laughs> ito yung tin ID card. So before anything else, um, we'll go, we're going to talk about three facts about the TIN ID card. So itong TIN ID card or the Tax Identification Number ID card is one of the valid ID considered as one of the valid ID here in the Philippines. Okay? So, ang um, wonder ko lang, wonder ko, ang pinagtataka ko lang is bakit hindi siya tinatanggap as valid ID kung kukuha ka ng passport sa DFA? Which leads us to our second fact. Yung TIN, yung TIN number kasi guys, your, your TIN ID ay napakadaling kunin or the requirements and the procedures procedures in getting the um, ID card, TIN ID card is very easy among the uh, the rest of the valid IDs here in the Philippines, no? So, you will know later bakit yun. Bakit, bakit ko nasabi yun? <laughs> Ang hirap magtagalog. <laughs> so, yes. That's it. Isa sa sa pinaka madaling kunin na ID dito sa Pilipinas. So, uh, number three, na, number three na fact is that um, tayo mga taxpayers, we are issued one, only one um, tax identification number for a lifetime. So, forever na to guys. Once you are issued with your, with um, your specific TIN number, yun na yung TIN number mo forever. So it does it does not expire, guys. Amazing, no? <laughs> so yes, let's go to our next topic, which is the requirements. Okay, guys. So um, yeah, let's talk about the requirements, na no? So the requirements in getting the um, TIN ID is napakadali. You only need two. Yes, you heard me right, guys. You only need two requirements. So number one is valid ID. Okay. So if ever a student pa kayo or fresh grad, wala pa kayo mga valid ID, no worries, guys. Um, we mentioned a while ago na napakadali kunin ng TIN ID. Bakit? Kasi yung valid ID, you can, if you yeah, if you are still a fresh graduate, you can bring your school ID or your alumni ID. And you can also bring your NBI clearance. Ina accept nila yun. So, that's it. Napakadali lang yun. Kunin yung NBI. Okay, so just bear with me. And aside from the valid ID that they need is the birth certificate. Kailangan nila na birth certificate. So one valid ID and your birth certificate. That's it. That's the requirements in getting the TIN ID card. All right. So um, procedure and how to get the in ID card, napakadali lang. First, um, i-bring mo yung mga, bring with you your valid ID and uh, the birth certificate to the nearest um, local BIR office. And the second one is that you need to fill out the TIN application form, the tax identification application form. And I know you need to choose if either it's a BIR form 1901 that's for self-employed or if you have any business or whatever so that's your application form the 1901 form and um, 
Next is BAR Form 1902, which is for individuals who are earning compensation from their company. So, if um, if hindi ka sure kung ano yung if you fill out mo, if it's um, 1901 or 1902, you can ask assistance sa mga BAR staff. Because maraming tao, <laughs> maraming tao ngayon na hindi na alam kung ano, ano talagang gusto nila. Charot. <laughs> so yun, 19, it's either 1901 or 1902 ang if you fill out nyo. If you're self-employed, 1901. If 1902, so you are employed. Okay? And number three, uh, excuse <laughs> After you fill out the form, you need to present the application form and your valid ID together with your birth certificate to the BIR staff and they will encode everything blah 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 and then wait for your TIN number to be given because they will be given a TIN number and that's it and you need to wait for your, your um, I mean you need to request for your TIN ID card so it will actually um, takes koan guys. Um, it only takes um, three days or minutes lang. It depends on the availability of the karang this one ba kaning paper na gagamitin nila sa ano. Kasi yung pag apply ko first, um, they told me to wait um, minutes lang tapos. Um, found out na wala na yung paper na ubus na yung paper so I needed to wait three days for my pin ID card so that's it and they will give you this card lang um, which includes your name your tin number and your address the birth uh, your birthday and the issue date ito lang paper lang talaga you need to secure your um, one by one photo with you. Ikaw na bahala mag paste sa sa picture mo dito. That's what I did here. And ikaw na din bahala if gusto mo ipalaminate yung tin ID card mo or hindi. Mga 50 pesos lang siguro yung laminate. Nakalimutan ko na yung price. So that's it, guys. Madali lang talaga. So recap, guys. Two requirements: valid ID and it's over certificate. And then you need to bring all the requirements to the BR office. You need to fill out a form 1901 or 1902. And then wait for the TIN number to be given and your TIN ID card. So that's basically it. It's very easy. What are you guys waiting for? If wala ka pang valid ID, go to the nearest BAR office right now. As in right now. Alright? Okay, so I hope you like this video. Give this a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Eww. But they... Thanks for watching, guys. And see you on my next vlog. Goodbye for now.